So as we meet more hidden quadratics, we're going to meet situations that are a little bit more challenging. And the forms that you can be given, we really need to use our index laws in order to simplify them so we can spot the quadratic. So this is a short exercise just to kind of get us thinking along those lines. So the first one here, write 3 to the power of x plus 2 in the form of k times 3 to the x, where k is an integer. OK, so 3 to the x plus 2, that's the same as 3 to the x times by 3 squared. OK, so they are equivalent using our laws of indices. Now, the 3 squared is just 9, so this is the same as 9 times 3 to the x, just reversing the order there. And so, I've now written it in the correct form where k is equal to 9. OK, so if we spot something like that, we can write it as 9 times 3 to the x. Now, for number 2, we need to write 4 to the 2x plus 1 in the form p times 4 to the x, all squared, where p is an integer. So using our index laws, we can write this as 4 to the 2x times by 4 to the 1. Now, if we reverse those, 4 to the 1 is, of course, 4. And 4 to the 2x, we know, is 4 to the x squared. We've seen that in the previous hidden quadratic videos already. So here we now have it in the form that we want. So p in this case is 4.